The Elements of Non-Euclidean Geometry by D. M. Y. Somerville. Chapter 2. Elementary Hyperbolic Geometry. Section 45. Another proof that the geometry on the horosphere is Euclidean. We add here another proof of the result that the geometry of horocycles on the horosphere is the same as the geometry of straight lines on the Euclidean plane. Let the three parallel lines in space, A omega, B omega, C omega, be cut by a horosphere with center omega in A, B, and C, and make A A prime equal to B B prime equal to C C prime, so that A prime, B prime, C prime lie again on a horosphere with center omega. See exercise 8. Let the dihedral angles between the planes B C omega, C A omega, A B omega, B alpha, beta, and gamma. And let the angles of the rectilinear triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, B alpha prime, beta prime, gamma prime, and its area delta. Then, as A A prime increases, the angles omega A prime, B prime, omega A prime, C prime, etc., all tend to right angles. Hence, alpha prime, beta prime, and gamma prime tend to the values alpha, beta, and gamma. And also, delta approaches zero. Now, delta is equal to k squared times the quantity pi minus alpha prime minus beta prime minus gamma prime. Hence, alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to pi. I.e., when three planes intersect in planes in three parallel lines, the sum of the dihedral angles is equal to two right angles. Hence, the sum of the angles of a geodesic triangle on the horosphere is equal to two right angles. The Elements of Non-Euclidean Geometry This book was written by D. M. Y. Somerville, M.A. and Doctor of Science. It was published by the Open Court Publishing Company, London, G. Bell & Sons, Ltd. in 1919, and now is in the public domain. It is being read by Jim Renholt with programming and illustrations by Jim Renholt in 2019. Thank you for listening.